at you here, coming at you. We got Mount Bear. Now you're thinking, Ivor, so the para drop's just gonna be what, a handful of bears that do nothing? Wrong. The bears are gonna be super cool. I actually can't even remember. I was drinking heavily and I uh, messaged Ravage and I said, hey, make a map where there's polar bears that para drop and do something cool. He said, okay, he sent the map. I haven't even played it yet. So we're all in for a treat today. You guys saw it here first. First in the world to ever see Mount Bear. Who knows? Could take over the world. Could be the most popular map ever. We all saw it here first. If you guys want to download these maps, play them on your own. All the maps can be downloaded via my Discord. You can also sign up via Discord to come hang out, play in tournaments, join these games. Discord link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, drop me a follow, maybe a comment, maybe a like. All of it's free for you and helps me tremendously, slowly help Red Alert 2 take over the world. Okay, so here we go. We got Red, MZIN, winner of the D4 tournament, bottom middle. We got Teal, Snark, OPOP, bottom right. Uh, we got Z, that's Zed in yellow in the top right. You guys all know him and love him. He does get the first para drop. Let's see what these polar bears are all about. Berg in blue in the top left. Captain Berg, Captain Berg. And we got Artie, RDOP in purple in the left. A lot of good names in here, a lot of good players. Let's see if the polar bears can take it home. First polar bear drop from Zed. It looks like Artie gets in and grabs a polar bear drop as well. Look at the ador adorable polar bears. Ooh, they shoot. I like that. Uh, this map is not in the Discord yet. I'm going to add it right after the stream today, though. So now both players have polar bears. Um, here come the polar bears. The polar bears are adorable. Why do they walk so slow? They should be able to run. The polar bears coming in. They're going to dive on that MCV. Can the polar bears... Oh, he got an elite polar bear. Oh, my God. Two elite polar bears. <laughs> What happened to the polar bears on the top? I feel like nothing happened. Oh, a sniper countered them. Nice. The sniper countered. Another group of polar bears. Those polar bears got the MCV knockout. Wow, I live for that. I am here just to watch my made-up units knock out MCVs. Um, I just absolutely have so much fun with that. Okay, um, so polar bears pushing in again now. Already putting the push on MZIN here down the middle. Uh, but as I say that, we got Berg coming in on the top right, doing some work on Zed's base. Zed's trying to play multiple levels and spreading himself a little too thin. Berg's polar bear is coming in now. What are these polar bears going to do? It's kind of hard to know. You don't know whose polar bears are whose because they don't have collars. The polar bears need collars or maybe balloons like Mario Kart. Okay, okay, okay. Polar bears coming in, doing some work. So MZIN counter punching here on the bottom left. Not getting much done. Not getting much done. And this this game is, uh, yeah, going pretty steadily here. That elite polar bear just sitting on his haunches, licking his hooves. Come on, dude, you're an elite. Oh, the elite polar bear doing work. Oh, the conscripts counter pretty nicely here. Um, so I think the polar bears are pretty much like rhino tanks, basically. I can't really remember. But they have infantry armor, so obviously they're weak to snipers and things like that. Nice prism walk here from Berg in the top left. Nice little prism walk coming in, putting in some nice pressure on Zed. Berg and Zed banging out, so the top side. We have Snark in the bottom right, it's chilling, playing SimCity, kind of keeping to himself, tucking in a little bit, getting his tech up, getting his eagles up. And then we have MZIN, who's just kind of in a bad spot. Uh, as Artie just slowly puts together a lot of rhinos, or a lot of polar bears. Uh, they're not brutes, they shoot, because they shoot tank, they shoot tank shells. So now Artie's coming in with these Kirov, should be the final blow on MZIN here. Um, so that'll be the first knockout goes to Artie, and that's going to be Red taking the early walk home. Um... So now, and, and Berg just continuing the push on Zed on the top right here. Always fun to see a little friendly rivalry. Uh, Berg and Zed kind of always pick at each other in the chat. So those guys going against each other, it's fun because neither of them want to lose. But Berg does have the upper hand. Um, so MZIN goes down swinging, does some work on Artie's base. But Artie's still sitting strong in the bottom left. Has his MCV, has a lot of polar bears. Uh, ooh, polar bears that are like demo trucks. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. And, uh, ooh, and Zed without any anti-air. Berg's Rocky's doing work now. And Zed's, uh, yeah, Zed's, Zed's getting picked apart here on the top right. Zed's going to be the next one to take the walk with no MCVs left with a War Factory. Um, Snark's looking nice. Snark's looking nice in the bottom right. Artie's looking pretty good as well. So Zed's going to be the next person to take a walk. Zed is on one last War Factory there. So as soon as someone knocks out that War Factory, 
Zed is gapped up, so a lot of players don't maybe realize how little he has. Uh, nice hit. Yeah, Snark does a good job of managing eagles in FFA. So Zed does quit out. So that leaves us with uh, the three wise men. Berg in the top, Snark in the bottom right, Hardy in the bottom left. The names you all know and love. Top level Blitz players been around since the beginning. And they all want it here. They all want to take this one home. Let's see if someone can close it out before the timer goes. Uh, we got a lot of game left here. About six, seven minutes left in this game. The elite, the elite polar bears. Don't just send the elite polar bears in recklessly, Artie. Artie's got to be taking the walk here pretty quick. Look at this army from Snark. Beautiful. It's got the prism tanks. It's got the mirages. It's got the grizzlies and the anti-air. His eagles behind it. Snark looking very, very nice right now. Uh, Artie's not going to be able to hold in the bottom left. Now, the tricky thing is Snark can't just throw his whole army. If he throws his whole army into Artie right now and gets the knockout, Berg's just going to backdoor him. So you see Berg sitting very patiently. Berg doesn't want to waste any of his own troops. He's like, hey, why don't you go knock out Artie, and then I can crush you. Um, so that's kind of the tricky thing here. Snark does get in, uh, takes out some oil, doesn't get much else, and Berg with a little hit and run with the Rocketeers. So both players kind of pinching pinching Artie out, almost like an unspoken agreement, like, hey, let's let's knock the weak, the weak link out right now, um, and then let's have ourselves our own little battle. So... Uh, already going for a counter punch in for a Snark's base. Bottom right, not going to get much done. Okay, so, um, yeah, so it comes down to... Well, the, the, see, the problem is in Snark, you just... Snark cannot afford to lose units here. It's like, you want to knock out... Uh, you want to knock out Artie, but at the same time... Um, you also need to keep your army. Oh, look at all those prism tanks from Berg. Oh, I, I don't think I don't think Snark has a chance right now. Berg played this really, really well. He was aggressive where he needed to be. You know, Zed was the person who was most likely a threat to him. He took Zed out, and then he sat back. He postured up. He took the whole top of the map. Um, looking so strong right now. So many prism tanks. Um, and, uh, and that's going to pretty much be it. Um, yeah. Berg looking really, really tough. Little Rocky War here. And Berg comes out on top in the Rocky War. He's got the Prism Tanks. Um, yeah, so pretty much no one's got anything left except Berg. Takes this one home fairly decisively. Artie does get another para drop though. Another group of Polar Bears. That could be exactly what he needs. He drops the Polar Bears. Oh, if he only could have dropped the Polar Bears. I'm kidding, it wouldn't have mattered. Ooh, nice. Oh! Berg blunders. He sends the tanks through the tat trap and loses a ton of prism tanks. Not going to matter. Look at all these rockies. A handful of elites in there. Going to hit that oil. That'll take the war factory. Well played. You guys want to see the last building explode? I'll get out of the way. There you go. Oh, that elite flak just did work. <laughs> two elite flak. Two elite flaks and a couple desolators as the two minute warning comes out. And Berg going to rush in with IFVs. Oh, the IFV. <laughs> it's going to come down to the polar bears. The polar bears move so slow. No, don't send the polar bears through the trap. Oh. People are way too careless with their polar bears, man. It's driving me crazy. Those elite flax are devastating right now. And, uh, and so, again, guys, so in free-for-all, if the timer goes, no one gets paid. But the prize pool does go one dollar up, so you never want to let your opponent win. If uh, if Artie can try to hold on till the timer here, I don't think he can. But if somehow he did, um, ooh, there goes the polar bears. Then then we're gonna play another free for all, and there's gonna be more money on the line. So you want to resist as long as possible. Make your opponent convert the position. Look at the prism tanks up on that cliff, doing work. So much range. The Rockies come in. Nice oil hit. Last building is the nuclear reactor. Berg OP. Berg OP.